You're finally done whispering secrets to each other? So much for promising Paimon you'll be back soon. Hmm. Ha! How could you say that to Paimon? In that case, besides having no sense of time, Paimon will let you know what having no sense of fullness looks like. Your dessert is all Paimon's! Sorry to keep everyone waiting. No worries, we're all just chatting here. There's no serious business to take care of. Whether we're chatting outside or inside, it's all the same. Hmm. Paimon's too busy eating to talk to you. But even though we're all well acquainted by now, I think this festive gathering deserves something ceremonious. Oh? Is this some local custom? Nope. This is something I made up so that good luck will be on our side, that's all. Spontaneity is the best choice to make here. Um, let's use this incense burner on the table. It's been lit for so long now that the incense is running out. I'll leave refilling and lighting the incense to the most distinguished guest among us all. Lighting the incense will signify continuous growth and prosperity in all our endeavors in the new year. I see. Perfect symbolism, as expected of Hu Tao. And speaking of the most distinguished guest here today, I'm sure we all agree that it's Mr. Zhang Li. I'm not very familiar with the details of his past deeds, but chatting with him has been a real eye-opener, even for a bard who has traveled all across the world. If knowledge were a form of power, one could even say that you're a wielder of unlimited strength. But when it comes to having a way with words, the notable bard is certainly one cut above the rest. I just happen to have a good memory. It is such an unexceptional skill, yet... You made it sound like an unparalleled talent. I am truly impressed. Since we all get to nominate someone... Mm hmm I think it's only fair that we let the parlor director light the incense. Huh? That won't do. Don't flatter me just because I'm your boss. We are looking for the most distinguished guest here. As the host, I shouldn't be involved in this discussion at all. Now that we've enjoyed this table full of delicacies, how about we let our one and only chef here do the honors? Um, is this really the way this works? I didn't cook any of these dishes. It's not a big deal. Just look at her! Xiang Ling, the disciple of an adeptus, the stove god's best companion, the winner of the Masterful Chef's competition. The only heir of the famous Wan Min restaurant. A good old friend of mine. There's no better choice. <laughs> uh, why does Paimon feel like we're back at square one again? But please stop! You're making me embarrassed! If we're looking for a distinguished guest, surely the second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild counts? It's one of the largest commerce guilds in Liyue Harbor. Huh? Don't get me involved in this. Oh, not a bad choice. With the Commerce Guild's young master lighting the incense, we're all sure to make a huge sum of mora in the new year. That's not how it works. Making a fortune is indeed a fine wish. But it's of lesser importance than good health and happiness. Which means we should choose Chong Yun, the skilled exorcist who keeps everyone's home safe from evil spirits. Huh? Now you're nominating me? I can't be the one when we have the Conqueror of Demons right here. Adeptus Xiao has the most seniority among everyone here today. We should... I refuse. I am most certainly not the most distinguished guest here. You should all be able to make the right judgment based on your observations. One person here is well acquainted with everyone else. Oh, that's right! Even though you're always mocking Paimon, you're still pretty popular with other people. No, wait! Paimon said she wouldn't talk to you again! Huh? Who else is there? 
Huh? Huh? Does that mean... Paimon's the most distinguished guest? Oh, well, that was unexpected! <laughs> I agree. Paimon's just the one we need. Without a friend constantly by your side, a long journey would become dreadfully lonesome. But once you have someone there to brighten up the atmosphere, everything along the way will become lively and vibrant too. Ah. The Traveler has traversed many nations and left behind a great deal of fascinating stories. But without Paimon, they would have become quite monotonous. Paimon plays an indispensable role in making your journey a happy and smooth one. You guys... Paimon's not used to being praised like that. Uh, those were genuine compliments, right? Thank you. You made Paimon wait for a long time, but... Paimon's not mad anymore. Don't take everything to heart, Paimon. Friends tease each other all the time. Hmm. That is indeed true. That means Paimon is as important to the Traveler as Guova is to me. Looks like we've come to an agreement. Any objections before we proceed? I trust the Traveler's judgment. Then Paimon it is. And now, the world's most excellent Traveler's greatest companion, guide, and friend, Paimon, will be refilling and lighting the incense for us. Here you go. Take the match, and uh, don't burn yourself. But if things go really wrong, here's the two-for-one coupon. It's getting late. I won't take up any more of your time. You're all free to go as you please. Yep, the tea was amazing too. You don't have to go all polite on me. Just remember to come when I invite you next time. Hmm, let's see. It's dark out, so I'm going to accompany Xiang Ling, Sing Cho, and Chang Yun back home. As for the rest of the guests, I'll leave them to our consultant. No need. I'm headed towards the harbor to meet a friend on the ship. There's no need to trouble one such as Mr. Zhang Li. I think you know the place I'm talking about. Come meet me anytime. It was great getting to know you all. Let's meet again when the spring breeze begins to blow. Bye. Oh, we should write poetry together sometime. We'll catch you all later then. Don't forget to return to the parlor later. There's something I need you to do. Understood. See you later. 